Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of our Seed Showcase series. Today's seed is a large world, small biome sized, 25 map seed. So let's have a look at the entire world put in front of you. And here it is, 25 very long painstaking maps to generate. But here it is, and it was totally worth it. You can tell there is plenty of Mesa biomes in this world. We have our ice spiked biome in the top right. Let me just kind of turn my hood and icons on here. Now that you've had a look and you can pause wherever you want. Up here is the ice spikes. That entire thing there is ice spikes. So you've got plenty of them. Now you obviously can see that we've got woodland mansions scattered about through the world. There's a total of seven of them. This is your snowy plains up here, here, and here. That's pretty much it for the snow biomes. It's more really warm biomes that you'll get in this world, as you can see from the description below. The only jungle temple I've seen is out in this area over here, but everything else has plenty of them around. Now, if you check out the description, I've listed as best I can what I was finding. I did kind of stop at a point of not recording much in this area right here because my description was getting too long for the YouTube file box, so I had to cut it down just a little bit. So I'm going to organize it as well. I haven't done it yet, but I will do. So you'll be able to see where the breakdown of each structure type is. Now, before I see, you guys can just go back to the beginning of the video when I didn't have the HUD on so you can pause and have a look at this coming back to it if you're ever playing in this world in the future. But what we are going to do is I'm first of all going to show you my inventory because it is a f mess of maps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9 through 17, and then the last 18 to 24 right there. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to quickly go over and show you where the stronghold is, or at least the nearest stronghold in the world. I only found the one of them, but I mean, one is all you need, especially with the content which is contained within this one. You may notice that we have five glowstone pillars attached to this stronghold. I'm actually just going to chuck this in my offhand, just in case anything goes wrong. So we're going to start off on this one right here, which as you can tell, is the end portal itself. We have one I have Ender preset already in it, and if you can see from there, nothing really much on the outside of this one. Usually you get the chests, but not on this occasion. Now, you're wondering, hang on a second, a stronghold can only generate two libraries, so what are the other two? Well, this one right here is a skeleton dungeon attached to the side of the stronghold itself. You can kind of see that it's flush with the wall, which is really, really cool. Inside here, you can see we have pumpkin seeds, name tags, iron, iron horse armor, the lot. Then if we continue our way over, we're going to hit this one over here, and this one is one of the libraries, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, this is the uh, the chest with the enchanted book in it. Probably sort of check where stuff is. First off, it's a power four protection three book in the chest. So this is why I should also label the pillars as well, so at least I don't mix up which is which. And obviously we've got two two-tiered libraries in this area. We obviously have this one with a power four protection three book in here, Bane of Arthropods four, and in here... There isn't anything, if I remember correctly. Okay, so I've at least remembered which library is which way around. And then, obviously, last but not least is the cool stone pillar on the furthest side away from us, which, if we go down here, we have another two-tiered library with a Protection 3 book there. And then, if we go over here, we have Protection 3 and Blast Protection 4 Fortune 2. Now, most of this world is going to be based around the fact of you guys pausing the video on the 25 maps and going exploring for yourself. But one little thing I do want to show you before I quickly end this is the Woodland Mansion near the spawn point. And I think it's a really useful thing to head off to at the very, very start, just by the fact of the content which is inside it. It's the top thing listed in the description. And as you can tell from what it says, uh, it has a diamond chest plate. And now the time, by the time that I've flown over here and gone through this cheeky little entrance there is in the side, we're going to fly all the way around, hit two right-hand turns, and on this right-hand side, first door, up here is the diamond chest plate and some more pumpkin seeds. Now, I have actually also listed a mineshaft in the description. It's up by the ice spiked biome. Um, it's actually quite useful. There's a couple good chests in there, uh, minecart chests, that is. And uh, one of them has melon seeds in. So if you are looking for melons, they are over there in that direction. It's about 1880 by negative 1500-ish. It's out in that area. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed. And I definitely recommend checking out this seed. Now that I've spent almost two days loading the map up for you. Thank you very much for watching. Here's another quick look at the map. And I will see you all again in the next one. Ocean monuments are also listed in the description below.